Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anupam. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to do the uh, cultural civilization portion of chapter number 12 of the textbook Cours de langue et de civilisation française, volume 2, Millennium Edition by G. Moger, recommended by CBSE Board for class 11th and class 12. Uh, published by Ashet Livre and Goyal Publishers. Right. So, till lesson 11, Cultural Civilization portion has been covered. Right. All those videos are present in the playlist titled G. Moger, Volume 2, Class 11, CBSC. Okay, the link to the playlist is provided in the description box below. So, here we have chapter number 12. As you know, grammar will be discussed later. Right. Today we are just discussing the text and the back questions, right? So let's begin with the passage. So the passage is titled as this, Alsace. Alsace is a region in France. Okay, so we are going to know something about this French region. Monsieur Vincent a suivi la route qui s'attend à Travers les montagnes, arrondi des bosques, parmi les sapins et, le, et les torrents. Right. So Mr. Vincent is, uh, Mr. Vincent followed the route which meanders. Okay. Serpent here means meanders, which meanders across the rounded mountains. Montagne arrondi, arrondi means rounded. Okay. Rounded mountains of the Vosk. Vosk is the chain of mountain. Okay, so the mountains are rounded. Arondi. Rounded. Okay. Uh, il a franchi la col de Savane et soudain la plaine d'Alsace et devant ses yeux avec les forêts gribles. A l'horizon. Okay, so he crossed the pass of Southern, okay, and suddenly the plain of Alsace uh, was in front of his eyes uh, with the forest gray blue, gray blue colored forest uh, at the horizon. Horizon is a place where like uh, you suppose you are looking at the landscape and there you see a point where you feel like the sky and the land is converging. Right. That line is known as horizon. So the person after suddenly saw Mr. Mr. Vincent suddenly saw the uh, this place Alsace with its grey blue colored forest uh, to the or near the horizon. Okay. Il arrête sa voiture à la ville de cette terre fertile dont les habitants subirent si souvent les souffrances de la guerre et, vi et qui changea, changea si souvent de mal. Ok, now in the future chapters, passé simple will be appearing quite a lot of times. Passé simple is a type of tense, simple past in French, right? And then passé simple has not been covered on my channel most probably. So it will be done soon. Okay, don't worry. So he stopped his car to the view, uh, for the view of this fertile land of which the inhabitants undergoes quite often the sufferings of the war. Eki Shonja Sisuwo Dema. And who Changed the hands so often. Okay. Voilà, non loin du Rhin, aux eaux vers Claire, Strasbourg, la capitale de l'Alsace, et sa cathédrale rose, dont la tour dresse sa flèche vers le ciel. Okay. So there is not, very, not far from Rhin. To the green waters, Strasbourg, the capital of Alsace, and its pink cathedral, of which the tower st 
stands uh, pointing towards the sky. Okay, like cathedrals have like long towers, right? So those towers are like long and then pointed at the top and it's like they're pointing towards the sky, like that. Okay. C'est dans Strasbourg, il y a 160 ans. Okay, now it's saying 160 means 160 years. Now this book is a bit old, so maybe a uh, few more years should be added to this number, but still we are learning it as 160 only. So, il y a 160 ans qu'un jeune officier composa et chanta chez la mère de la vie, la femme chant de l'armée, du rang qui est devenu l'hymne national des Français, les Mas la Marseillaise. Right. So it is in Strasbourg, uh, it's been 160 years that a young officer composed and sang at the place of the mayor of the city the famous song of army of rang, which became the national anthem of France. La Marseillaise. Uh, La Marseillaise, it's the national anthem of France. Uh, you can definitely listen to it on YouTube. Right. I have listened to it, listened to it a couple of times. It's nice. Le touriste ne doit pas manquer de visiter à Strasbourg le vieux quartier qui, au bord du canal, rappelle les villages alsaciens avec ses maisons aux trois pointus, pointus et ses cigognes debout là-haut sur une patte. Hmm. So the tourist must not miss visiting Strasbourg, the old area which banks, in, at the banks of the canal, reminds the Alsatian villages Alsace, the people of Alsace, or uh, something of Alsace, Alsacians, right? So the Alsacian, the villages of Alsace, Alsace uh, with its maison, with its houses, uh, having pointed roofs, and these talks, Sigonia. A type of bird, stalks, stalks just found a lot in Alsace and in Strasbourg. Oh yeah, like in case you want to search the national anthem, it's this. Marseillaise. I hope the spelling I have written is correct. La Marseillaise, yes. Okay, so it reminds the Alsacian village with the houses having pointed roofs for a tour point you pointed roofs, right? Okay, here's a picture of the Cathedral of Strasbourg. You can see like the uh, tower is quite pointed and it's pointing towards the sky, right? Uh, the, and the cigogne, the stork birds, standing high over on one paw. Okay, part paw. Uh, for bird it should have been claw, but part's translation is um, okay, so yeah, this was the translation of the passage. We got to know a few things about the region of Alsace and a few things about Strasbourg as well. Now it's the time to discuss the back questions. Let me see how many questions are there. We have a total of, um, wait, 206, page number 206. Yeah, in case you have the book, you can check out the questions, page number 206. We have only seven questions. That's fine. Let's proceed with it then. And now I have to wrap it up. Questions are quite small, quite short, and yeah, that's nice. Lesson 12, question and answers. First one. Comment sont les montagnes des Vosques? 
How are the mountains of Bosk? They are rounded, right? We did it in the passage itself. So, for question number one, the answer should be Le montagne, montagne, des bosques des bosques sont arrondis. Number two, quelle est la couleur des forêts à l'horizon? What's the color of the forest at the horizon? Of course, uh, when uh, you are looking at the horizon, you are not uh, able to see the exact colors, right? Because of the distance. So it appears to be grayish blue, as mentioned in the chapter, right? So, la couleur des forêts à l'horizon et gris bleu. Grayish blue. Third one, dites le nom du fleuve qui arrose l'Alsace. Okay, so Rhin is a river. I think I thought while doing the text in the recording, I said a region. So let me just confirm with the passage. No, with the this thing. With the map. Okay, so yes, Rhin is a river. La Rhin est la fleuve qui arrose l'Alsace. Ok. Fourth. Uh, Qu'est-ce qu'une cathédrale? Ok. So this is the definition that I wrote when I was in 11. Okay. So what I got to know about the cathedral is that the cathedral is the main church of uh, this term. I found this term diocese, diocese uh, in French diocese. So that term means refers to an area containing numerous churches. Okay. For which the bishop is responsible. So the main church of that area is called cathedral and the bishop is directly associated to that cathedral okay officially associated so that is referred as a cathedral now that this is the definition that i wrote okay by looking at net if you know exactly what a cathedral is if it's something different then also you can write it of course it's a subjective question it's just that the definition needs to be correct right so i'm writing my definition Yun cathedral e la principal église principal église da diocese à laquelle Levok. Levok is the word for bishop. Okay. Levok et officiellement Associate. Yes. So let's read the whole um, definition once. Une cathedral est la principale église dans le diocèse à laquelle l'évêque est, of, est officiellement associé. Right. So a cathedral is the principal church of a diocese of 
which in which, to which the bishop is officially associated. Right. So first four questions done, three more left. I need to put up the first three questions. I mean first three answers. Right. have now question number five. In question number five, uh, they are asking, comment s'appelle la Chant Nationale de France? So what's the name of the national anthem of France? It's La Marseillaise, right? So, la Chant Nationale de France La Marseillaise. Question number six. Quels sont les oiseaux qui reviennent tous les ans? Reviennent. Ok. Et quels sont les oiseaux qui reviennent tous les ans en Alsace? Okay, so what these words? These words are Sigoin, the stalk, right? So Les Wazo Ki Ravien To the zone. Okay, so they are saying that the birds return every year to the zone at Alsace so we see going in right now we have the last one où font où font ils leur ni and ids ni means nest okay so where do they make their nest where do they build their nest here? Yeah. So they build their nest on the pointed roofs, right? As given in the chapter. You can write simply to her, but since the loops are pointed, you can add an extra bit of information. That's twenty. Yes. So, uh, let me solve. Okay. Right. With this, we complete the culture civilization portion of chapter number twelve. So, let's put the halt here. Say to push to it. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Learn from YouTube and above. And if you have any doubts or suggestions, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn from YouTube and above. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Ni bleba. Kalalong. Fonsei. Lalo.